GHD Duet Style versus Dyson Air Straight on Curly Hair. Let's see which one is better. First, I want to add a little bit of this Mr. Incredible Leave In Conditioner. This is so nice and moisturizing, and my hair definitely needs it right now. I'm just gonna spray this on my hair. And this also protects your hair from the heat, which is nice up to 450 degrees fahrenheit so let's talk about these hair tools real quick because they are very similar but at the same time they are different so the dyson air straight is 500 dollars. it only uses air to straighten your hair it doesn't have heated plates it only uses air the ghd duet style is 400 dollars, but it does have an air heat setting like to dry your hair and it also only has one heated plate setting but what i like about the dyson is that it has different heat settings to choose from the ghd only has one heat setting which is this one i'll put it right here and this is the drying setting by the way it also has another heated plate setting which is this one right here so it does get a little bit hotter and it does turn into i guess like a straightener and you can straighten all your hair i'm gonna dry one section first and then I'll do one side and the other side so yeah I'm gonna turn this on I'm gonna switch it to the setting that is on wet hair because my hair is wet if I wanted to just finish off my blowout which I'm gonna show you guys how to do that later you could use the boost mode which is super nice because it's a setting that you can use on dry hair it's a little bit hotter than the one that I'm gonna use now so I'm gonna put it in the wet setting as you can see and we're gonna put it in the highest heat setting for the wet setting. That is 285 degrees Fahrenheit. What I like to do is actually use a round brush, like a little tiny round brush like this, and hold the roots, press the plate, and dry the roots first. You can just hold the hair with your hands, but I like to use a brush because it gives me a smoother look. It smooths out the roots a little bit better. So there you go. The roots are smooth, so now I'm just going to go in and smooth out the rest of my hair. As you can see, I'm just very slowly bringing this down my hair. Take your time with each section. Because then you're going to have to do a ton of passes anyway, so just take your time. Okay. So there's one pass, one pass with Lysin. That's pretty impressive, very impressive. I usually do about three passes. So I'm gonna do two more. Try to bend it a little bit, but that doesn't do much. Okay, two passes, let's do the third one. So that's what it looks like after just three passes. I feel like it looks very, very straight. I'm gonna put in the boost mode and do one pass with the boost mode. So I'm gonna switch it right here. And now it's in the drying setting. And I'm gonna make sure that it's up in the boost mode setting. So let's do one pass in the boost mode. And I love this mode. I can't believe last time I didn't use it at all and I was still so impressed with the results but with the boost mode like the final touch you have to do the boost mode okay and there you have it this is the first section with the dyson technically i did four passes including the boost mode but yeah love it the only thing that i don't love is my ends they just look very straight they don't have a ton of volume a ton of bounce and i usually like a little bit of something on my ends because if not my hair looks a little bit choppy and i just got a trim let's do one section with the ghd i'm gonna turn it on so with this one i can't do the little blow dryer hack because you can't really blow air like you would with a blow dryer so i'm just gonna have to go right into it so let's do this. <laughs> okay. All right. One pass. I feel like the Dyson gave me a better pass the first time. But let's keep doing my hair. I'm gonna do one more pass. I'm gonna do a couple more, but I'm gonna do one more now. What I like about the GHD is that I'm able to flip the hair tool however I want. With the Dyson, I can't do it. I gotta keep it in the same direction. 
with this one I can put it like this I can then flip it like this you know what I mean with the vice in I have to keep it with this down the whole time I can't really straighten it like this two passes with the GHD still very curly I do have to say this side of my hair is curlier than this side but the Dyson did a great job at smoothing out this side as well when I used it. So, yeah, let's do one more pass. Three passes and it still feels pretty wet a little bit. So I'm going to do one more pass. Okay, four passes and it still feels a little bit wet. You can definitely see the curls still. I'm gonna divide this section because I noticed that with the GHG, I definitely gotta take smaller sections than with the Dyson. So that should be good. I'm gonna turn this off because this one will keep going. The Dyson kind of pauses so it's not loud when you're not using it. So I kinda like that about the Dyson. So I turned it off. And this is what the GHD section looks like. I'm going to finish drying all my hair and I'll be back with the finished dried hair look. Okay guys, I am done doing all my hair. I just did the GHD side and it took me a little bit longer to dry this side. It took me about 26 minutes to dry the GHD side and I feel like it's not done. I didn't try to get it super sleek because I knew I was going to go in with the GHD heated place anyways so yeah this is what we got with the ghd it doesn't look bad for just a blowout but i feel like it definitely looks a little bit frizzier than the dyson side this is the dyson and it only took me 23 minutes to do this side something that really helped me do this side a lot quicker than before than the first time i tried the ghd is just rough drying my hair the first time i tried the ghd duet style my hair was pretty damp, it was pretty wet, so it definitely took me way longer to dry all my hair with that hair tool. But I do have to say, the Dyson side was pretty wet and it did dry my hair very, very quickly. So I feel like the Dyson is a lot more powerful and it dries my hair a lot better and quicker than the GHD. With the GHD, I also had to take smaller sections just to be able to dry my hair a lot better and get a smoother look. With the Dyson, I was able to take pretty big sections and I was able to dry my hair very quickly. And I feel like it looks better than the GHD, but I am going to use the GHD um what is this called the shine shot mode so i'm gonna do that now and i'm actually gonna do the boost mode as well on the dyson side this is only with the drying setting the highest drying setting i still have to use the boost mode which actually helps a lot so i'm gonna do that now on this side as well i'm first gonna add a little bit of heat protectant i'm gonna use a good behavior from igk the spirulina spray i'm gonna add that to all my hair i like that with the ghd you're able to kind of flip the ends and give it a little bit more of you know something on the ends like a little curl with the dyson i can't really do that so i always feel like i have to go in with another hair tool just to you know give my hair a little bit more bounce but at the same time the dyson is really good at just giving you a nice smooth blowout and then you know kind of like as a first step and then if you want to use another hair tool to style then you can do that as well but i like that dyson hair tools are not very damaging and they really keep my hair super healthy. So yeah, that Dyson Supersonic, it's it's crazy. I would love the Dyson hair up more if it had a nicer <laughs> round brush attachment. You guys are probably tired of me always saying that, but it's true, it's true. Anyways, this is what my hair is looking like with the GHD. I feel like it looks super nice, very sleek. Just gonna try to flip the hair give it a little curl nice that's cute that's really cute actually mm -hmm. i feel like with the ghd you're able to get different styles like you're able to do more with it it's not the best blow dryer in my opinion but you're able to get a straighter look you're able to get a little bit of a curl a little bit of you know bounce on the ends so yeah you're able to do more with this hair tool now i'm going to do the boost mode on this side 
the Dyson boost mode is still just hot air. It's just hotter air. It's not heated plates like the GHD. So you're not really using a straightener on your hair with the Dyson. I wish I could do a little curl, but it doesn't do anything. So I'm just gonna go for the smooth look on this side. There you have it. It looks very shiny. Let me do another pass. That should be good for this side. And as you can see, it's just very sleek and it's very shiny. And it feels so soft. It looks very healthy. Um, it's just the ends. The ends are just like not that fun. It's not my type of a look. But again, you can always use another hair tool, I guess, to just give your ends a little something. I'm going to use the shine shot on this side. I'm going to use the boost mode on the Dyson. And I'll be back with the final look and my thoughts. I am done doing my hair. I got very different results. I am shocked. So the Dyson gave me a very straight look. It literally looks like if I use a straightener. And I'm telling you guys, whenever I use the Dyson Air Straight and I try to curl my hair, it won't hold the curl. And it's a little bit frustrating sometimes. But I really like the Dyson Air Straight for blowouts. It gives me very nice, sleek results. The GHD is nice as well because I was able to get a little bit of a curl on the ends, which is what I like. This is definitely more of my vibe. So I really like that about the GHD. The GHD is an amazing hair tool. If you just want like an all-in-one hair tool, it's an amazing, amazing hair tool. But if you just want a very powerful blow dryer that's going to give you sleek blowouts in very little time, then I think you're going to like the Dyson more. Especially if you already have a straightener or if you already have another hair tool that you might want to use after you use the Dyson if you just want to switch up the look. So for that reason, I do feel like I would reach for the Dyson a little bit more, even though... I really like how this side looks and I love the volume that I was able to get. But if I'm just looking for a very strong blow dryer that's going to dry my hair very quickly, it's going to give me very straight results, then I think I'm going to go with the Dyson. And then like I said, if I have to do something else to my hair, then I'll do that. Use a curling iron or whatever. But yeah, what do you guys think? Because this side looks good, but I technically used a straightener anyways to get this look. So why wouldn't I just do it on this side with another hair tool that I like maybe even more for curls? So yeah, and I feel like this side does not need a straightener. But yeah guys, that's the tea on these hair tools. Let me know if you liked this video. If you like these types of videos, subscribe because I have so many more coming like this. I actually already pre-filmed a side-by-side -side comparison of the Revlon and the GHD duet style. So subscribe if you want to see that. And yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye bye.